Newcastle United are potentially facing a fresh investigation into their ownership after an American court case revealed they could be in breach of the league's ownership rules. And if that's the case, the Premier League could be forced to remove the owners from the club. Good morning, everybody. Adam Cleary442 here. And my word, that's an enormous headline, isn't it? Some 18 months after the Premier League finally waved through the controversial takeover of Newcastle United Football Club by the Saudi investment fund PIF, they may now be having to reopen that investigation to see if they well, shouldn't have done that. And if they are found to be in breach of these rules, the Premier League would be forced to remove these owners from the club. Potentially. And if you're sitting there quite understandably going, just what? How has this just seemingly happened? Well, it's because of golf. Now, just quickly before we get into this, the one thing you need to know going in is one of the Premier League's ownership rules is that nation states, governments are not allowed to have any direct involvement in the running of a football club. And one of the things that initially stopped the Newcastle United takeover going through was that the Premier League believed PIF, the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, was affiliated with the government. Now, I could do a whole other video on the relationship between PIF PIF in the Saudi state, but all you really need to know is that relationship is murky and complicated and you can understand why the Premier League were like, ooh, don't know about that. But both PIF and the Saudi government gave the Premier League legally binding assurances that they were separate entities and that the Saudi state wouldn't have any involvement in the running of the club. The Premier League were like, okay, sounds fine, off you go. But right now there is a major court case in America between the PGA, which you've never heard of it, is like they're the golf lads in America, they're like the NBA of walking around a big field and putting a tiny ball in an even tinier cup and Live Golf. And Live Golf, just like Newcastle United, is a major part of PIF's investment portfolio. They own that as well and they want it to be as big as Christmas. The PGA are understandably quite unhappy about that, so have taken them to court for, I'll just skip through it all, a lot of things. And this is where it starts to concern Newcastle United and the Premier League, as this man, Yasser Al Rumayan, has been named by Live Golf's own lawyers as a sitting minister of the government with sovereign immunity. And if you're sitting there thinking, Adam, what's wrong with that? People are allowed to be sitting ministers of the government. People are allowed to have sovereign immunity. It's just a thing. Well, if you didn't already click on, that man is Newcastle United's chairman. And the bottom line is you cannot be giving the Premier League cast iron assurances that PIF has nothing to do with the government when the very head of PIF is a sitting government minister. Now, the thing is, that statement was made over a month ago. So where it gets particularly relevant is that Richard Masters, you know him, head of the Premier League, got caught up in the whole takeover storm the first time around. This week, he has been sitting in a parliamentary committee with the Department of Digital, Culture, Media and Sport. Asked directly by Clive Effort MP whether these comments would prompt the Premier League to reopen the investigation into Newcastle, Masters replied, I can't really comment on it, even to the point of saying, is the Premier League investigating it? We can't really comment on it. Obviously, we are completely aware, but the time when the Premier League comments publicly on regulatory issues is when it's charged at the end of the process, when it's decided whether any rule breaches have actually taken place. But the investigation process, we don't talk about at all. And if you're thinking this story and this headline's a fairly major leap from the head of the Premier League simply saying no comment in a committee, it isn't. In all likelihood, if either Masters or the Premier League were still satisfied with the assurances they'd had that both PIF and the Saudi government were entirely separate bodies, then the answer to that question is just, yeah, we've seen that, we're aware of it, but we've already done our investigation into it and we're happy there's no direct involvement. But he didn't say that. He said, I can't comment because we don't comment on investigations if they're running. And it's like you asking me, do I actually wear anything under this table? And me saying, unfortunately, I simply don't comment on whether or not I wear anything under this table. When what you'd want me to say is, yes, pants. Richard Masters has already said in the past that if they do ever find evidence of state involvement in the club, they can remove PIF as the owners. Because in their eyes, the owners of the club would actually be the Saudi government. So it would be the Saudi government who was subjected to the ownership test, which they would then, of course, fail because you're not allowed to own a football club in the Premier League if you're a nation state. So if this investigation is going on, which I've got to stress at this point in time, there's been no confirmation that it actually is, you would imagine that then involves a very long-winded process of going through all of this behind the scenes where nobody's going to hear anything about it until they make a decision either way. And just to wrap up, if you are a Newcastle United fan and you're sitting there going, whoa, this sounds pure, I bad this leg. Do I need to worry about it at all, do you think? I would say, yeah, maybe a little bit, but we're literally not going to know until we know, so just enjoy your life. But yes, that is the news. Thank you for joining us. I've been Adam Cleary. Get me on Twitter at Adam Cleary, C-L-E-R-Y. The brand new 442 is due out imminently available in all good news agents and I'm assured all the crap ones as well. So do pick yourself up a copy of that. But until the next time, hit the subscribe button on your way out. Please, thank you very much. Love you. Goodbye.